What's up guys and welcome to my personal most anticipated episode of this career mode so far. It's going to be a huge fight, one that's been really building up for a while now. And of course we are getting close to taking on Paul Felder in that rival match. But this is by far my most anticipated fight. And we can choose between Leonardo Rodriguez, who is definitely a tough opponent. Look at those stats, his striking is trash. Or we can take on... The one and only Stanislav Bogdanov or Bob McLean, but we're going to ignore him once again. We're going to go ahead and take on Stanislav Bogdanov because, of course, Torture God has been wanting this rematch after getting knocked the fuck out in their second fight. So this is going to be a huge one for their careers. Of course, it's going to be a trilogy, and Torture God wants revenge. So Torture God is actually going to predict a second round knockout, which is a very, very bold statement considering how the second one went. Uh, but Torture God must be very, very confident in it. I have learned every move that Torture God has to offer. I will give the man credit. He puts every ounce of his being into his fights. But let me tell you one thing. Many people will call him brave. I will call him retarded. That's the bad man. That man got no man to be. I'm the best vibe out there. I'm the one that has all my arms. I think about when on this earth can be told the guy. I told you a long time ago. This man got an orchard up his eye. I'm gonna pull that son of a bitch out. I'm gonna knock him all over here with it. I'm gonna take what is rightfully mine, which is the third thousand dollars. And I'm gonna send this dude back to Russia where he belongs, with his tail between his legs. Let me take one thing, there's only one told the guy. And that's one that you are looking at right now. The one and only Tip God. The bone crusher, and I will not stop until I'm the go. I'm the gang. And here we go. The fight is finally here. The rematch between Stanislav Bogdanov and the one and only Torture God. We all know that these two men, every time they step in that octagon, they give everything they have. They are very evenly matched, not just physically, but also based on what they can actually do in that octagon. As you can see. Stanislav Brogdanov is a little bit is a little bit taller. He has a shorter reach though, and he actually does weigh in at 154, so he is slightly lighter. That doesn't really make much of a difference, but you know that every advantage here is going to be huge for each man. The first fight, controversial decision going torture God's way. Second fight, brutal knockout by by, by Bogdanov who just molly washed the fuck out of Torture God. It was a prolonged beating, tired him out and put him away with one of the most fantastic shots I have ever seen in this career mode. So here we go, guys. Already 20 seconds in, and it's been an absolute barn burner. Look at Torture God going with those uppercuts. Look at the body kick. He's trying to dish him. Look at that. Stanislav Bogdanov does what he did in the first one. He shimmies to the right, and he goes in for a takedown instead of hitting him with a devastating punch, and he takes him down immediately, going to, the work, going to work on the body. He knows that Torture God's biggest weakness is his cardio, and if he can exploit that to the best of his ability, then he could really make easy work at Torture God here. Look at that body shot. He's really going for it. Torture God misses with the jab. Stanislav does what he does best, which is getting out of the way and landing a counter. And look at that body shot. Torture God is already, you know, he's losing significant stamina already. Look at this. Torture God lands an uppercut there, though. He gets caught by a double jab. Look at Bogdanov, man. His striking, it's not necessarily technical, but man, is it good defensively. He's a great counter striker. He takes him down. He moves into the half guard. Torture God manages to keep it in full guard and gets back up pretty quickly so that's going to be huge for him he he has to he has to be careful because if if Bogdanov can get him on the ground and tire him out with some transitions maybe blocking some of torture gods that's going to really weigh on him and that's going to be devastating for his chances of winning this fight because torture gods whole thing is he has to hurt him early possibly go to the legs try to do as much damage as he can to the body to make sure the stamina uh stays pretty even and there he goes landing some landing some pretty solid hooks but to, by Bogdanov Immediately in the side control after that takedown. That's happened so many times between these two guys. But Torture God goes straight to backside. And this is pretty much what we see every fight. But this time, Bogdanov stops the transition. And that really does tire out Torture God, which is pretty bad for him. And look at that look at that counter, man. That's what Bogdanov does best. He moves out of the way and he just lands these brutal counters. Torture God is in deep shit already. Luckily for him, though, he hasn't been rocked yet. They both exchange uppercuts right there. And Bogdanov lands a huge combo. And he rocks him to the leg. Which is usually what Torture God does to other people. So maybe having his leg kicks checked in that last fight. Maybe that did a little bit too much damage to him. 
Man, Torture God, look at his stamina. It's already almost halfway down. But Bogdanov also has relatively low stamina. Both men are really throwing for... Oh, look at that. They're really going for that home run shot. They want to send the opponent's nose straight to the nosebleeds. Look at that. Bog look, Bogdanov gets caught by a body shot. Torture God with a good uppercut. Torture God needs to be careful here because we know what happens if Bogdanov starts flowing with the com with the counters. And he's looking pretty solid here early on. So Torture God's in deep shit. He may be losing this round. Torture God's getting caught with some combos right there. Bogdanov's going to take him to the fence, but it should be too late to get a, to get a takedown. Torture God was, t was contemplating going for a guillotine. But the round ends that way. It was a pretty close one. It's kind of hard to score. I mean, it could be Bogdanov because I think, he, yeah, you know, the takedowns really make a difference. But we don't really know how the judges are in this game because they, they're very unpredictable. They don't necessarily score takedowns the way they would in real life, so it's kind of hard to tell. But look at that. Bogdanov lands a nice combo and takes him down immediately right back to side control. Luckily for T-God, Bogdanov got tired doing that. So he's going to backside. If he can continue to do this, then he can at least get up pretty, pretty easily. And he, the, the transitions might count a little bit, but he gets caught by an uppercut. Look at Bogdanov's footwork, man. It's insane. He looks like he looks like a Russian Dominic Cruz. It's insane. It's really crazy, man. And this is a lightweight right here, man. This is this is a physically this is a physical specimen right here for Bogdanov. Torture guy once again on his back. Lands a nice elbow and gets back up. Bogdanov goes for the leg kick. Doesn't really do anything. Gets caught by. Oh, he's getting caught up right now. He's getting beat down. Well, not really beat down. You know, he's getting he's taking some shots. Bogdanov once again tries to take him to the fence. He's not liking what he's seeing. And Torture God's stamina does have a little bit of a boost, but he gets taken down immediately. Bogdanov, once again, is kind of tired, though. So, T-God gets right back up to his feet. So far, you know, so good for Bogdanov with the takedowns. If he can keep down Torture God, then that's going to be... That's going to be really, really bad for the T-1. But right now, Torture God's... He's not doing too well in terms of... There he goes. There it is. That's what he has to do. He has to land that 1-2. And there he goes. Stopping the takedown. That's really, really big here. If he can, if he can land some combos... And stop the takedowns, then Bogdanov's gonna have a hard time dealing with him. That's what kind of won T got the fight in the first one was that he was, you know, he was landing the bigger shots, and yes, he was getting taken down constantly. But oh, uppercut and the head kick, Bogdanov goes down. But we've seen this so many times. Bogdanov has nothing but he has nothing but heart, man. You can say whatever you want about this guy. He might not be a technical mastermind, but Jesus Christ, this guy take a beating and just keep on going. He's very much like Torture God. Torture God stops the takedown. He misses wildly with a couple of shots. Bogdanov also misses wildly. Torture Guard is throwing the Dos Santos uppercuts from across the octagon. Look at that. That time it lands, though. Lands a nice combo. This round has been very, very good for Torture God. He stopped the what? That's like his third takedown stopped. So he's starting to get the timing on the takedowns done. Bogdanov is losing stamina. There he goes. Black, he's flattened him out. He's going to go for the real naked choke. There he goes. Let's see if he can submit Bogdanov, which would be huge for him. Okay, stage one has been done. Can he start to tighten in this choke? All right, we're going into stage three. It's starting to get pretty close. This is where the pressure mounts for both men. Torture God knows if he can just close this out, then it's going to be a huge win for him. But Bogdanov has to get out of it right now. Oh, and Bogdanov is out. Will he actually end up on top? No, he doesn't. Torture God is still on top. But they go to, they go to full guard. Torture God knows he has to just keep his stamina. He cannot risk getting... Having his uh, transition stopped. Because if he does, then he's going to lose a lot of stamina. But that time, Bo Torture God actually blocks his transition. Makes Bogdanov work. And doesn't really get anything out of it. So T-God did a very good job there. I mean, this is just like it's saying right there, man. This fight is way too close to call. I think the first one definitely was Bogdanov. This one, you know, these two shots. They didn't show the, they didn't show the first shot that rocked him. But, you know, those two shots really did a lot of damage to Bogdanov. Sent him to the ground. So you have to say that was a 10-8 round for Torture God. So he could definitely be ahead by one point right now going into the last round. I mean, this is just... This is what we expect from these guys at this point. You know that every time these guys face off, it's going to be a barn burner. And if this isn't fight of the night, just based on what we've seen so far, Dana White's, you know, he's smoking some weird shit right now. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, Torture God starts off the round missing with a couple of... Oh, Bogdanov gets caught! That time the head kick was blocked, though. He did a, bit, he did a pretty good job there. So we're, oh, and Torture God gets taken down. Straight into side control. But it looks like the stamina is pretty much even right now. Maybe a little bit in, in Bogdanov's favor, but not by much. Torture God goes back to the back. Can't. Oh, this time it's blocked. That's terrible for his stamina. But he does a smart move and he gets straight back up. He knows that. Look, look at how much that took away from him, though. 
That could really be devastating for his chances here. Torture God. Oh! There it is! Torture God with the knockout. He closes out the trilogy with a fantastic shot right there. I'm trying my best not to say beautiful to keep you guys from drinking. But what a shot, man. Torture God starches his ass. What an exclamation point put on this trilogy. Oh my goodness, man. Torture God did what exactly what he had to do. He knew Bogdan was going to be desperate. He knew that Bogdan was going to be shooting in for takedowns. Look at this. He does what Bogdanov does best. He moves, but this time he doesn't move far enough. And Torture God just lands a pinpoint uppercut right on that chin. Look at this. Bogdanov moves. Uppercut comes in. It's perfectly placed, and Bogdanov is down. Torture God has really just... I don't know if it's ended the rivalry because these guys could fight, you know, five, six, seven times. and People would still be wanting to see this. But if this is the end of a rivalry, man, that is going to be just huge for Torture God. I mean, he, he could not have ended it with a better shot. Bogdanov... Got caught by literally just the perfect punch. You know, hats off to Bogdanov. You have to say, man, nothing but respect for this man. Nothing but respect for this guy. I mean, the effort he put in here, he was coming clo pretty close to winning it too. It could have gone either way if it had gone to the decision. But Torture God gets the hand raised once again from Dan Mergliata. Look at this, man. Torture God just loving life right now. All the trash talk, it led to this. All right, hopefully these guys can bury the hatchet. Hopefully they can... They can, you know, go get a beer or something like that after the fight and just kind of reminisce about all the fucking absurd shit they've been through. There has to be fight of the night. If it's not, then it's just it's just not fair. And it's not. Somehow it's not fight of the night. Torture God's longevity is down to 75% now. He gained 30,000 fans and he made a, a whopping $30,000. You know, that's, that's really good money for seeing the brain damage this man has taken. But that said, you know, look at this. People are starting to... People are really starting to follow him. You know, he's he, that had medium fight hype, so people are starting to get interested. And I think going uh, as we get closer to that Paul Felder fight, it's only going to get more. It's only going to get bigger. And Torture God is definitely on his way to being one of the most popular fighters in uh, in mixed martial arts. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comment section down below what you like best about this uh, about this series so far and what do you really think that torture god can achieve like can he be a champion or has he already taken too much damage to actually achieve something like that let me know all these things in the comments down below and most importantly would you give bogdanov another rematch what do you think should happen there anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video